What's going on up there, King fans? Man, what a win, man. What a win. Um, crazy. Um, <clears throat> you go from two minutes from being tied, you know, going to San Jose tied at one, series tied at one, to them having all the momentum, um, to being up to, you know, being up being, to go to be able to steal this game and go up to two goals in the in the, in the final two minutes. Uh, Brownie and Trevor Lewis with goals with 22 seconds apart to uh, push us past uh, San Jose four to three to once you know once again as I said earlier take two games to nothing lead. Um, all we did though was hold was hold home ice. It, you know we did what we had to do. Fall straight home win. Um, <clears throat> bit of controversy towards the end of the game, you know. Um, the big one, of course, the five on three that led to the five on three was a delay of game by uh, Vlasic. Um, you can make yeah, you know, you can make an argument that look, you know, that might have hit off Carter, and you know, um, not gonna argue that it wasn't a bad call. Um, it's still no excuse though, you know. It's you still gotta play the game. Um, bad calls are part of the game. If it happened to me, of course, I would have been pissed. But, you know, the way I am, I don't like to use referees as an excuse to lose the game. Still plenty of opportunities uh, for either team to, to pull away. You know, we had a chance to actually put this, you know, put this game away, to add to our lead. Um, you know, but didn't do it. Um, Sharks had an opportunity to, you know, blow us away the first two periods. Uh, you know, thanks to Johnny Quick for that, for keeping us in this game. Um, so no excuses. Bad calls, not nah, no excuses. We're up 2-0. Um, <clears throat> you know, it is what it is. Um, but I mean, Sharks you largely dominated the first and second periods of this uh, of this game. You know, I mean, shot wise and, and and well, I didn't get the end total of the shot wise. You know, the shot wise didn't they were, you know, dominating. But the third period we picked it up. We dominated that third period and uh, you know we picked it up. Um, the face-offs, obviously, they, that was huge. You know, that's what we really missed Stoli. Um, you know, he, a key, he's a key player, you know, in our, in our team. And, and, and it's one of his, his specialities, you know, as a face-off. And so, obviously, you know, that was one-sided. Um, <clears throat> really going to miss him. But, you know, we, we can get the job done. The other guys have to step up, get the job done. Um, but, as I said, you know, the Sharks, I mean, you know, this kid is easy to know two old uh, sharks, you know. So, you know, superb Jonathan Quick. Superb plays with Jonathan Quick. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, we, we actually went up 2-0 in this game. You know, Jeff Carter, you know, has scored the first goal, put us up 1-0. And like I said, the first game, you know, um, going into that first intermission, up 1-0, even after the Sharks largely dominated that first period. Uh, you know, hopefully... You know, I was thinking hopefully put a dent in their confidence, especially when Dowdy came up and, and, and scored on power play to put us up 2 0. And at that point, I wasn't, I would say, I was, I don't want to say comfortable. I was, you know, the way, because the way game one went, I was like, okay, well, that's, that's, that's enough. Um, it's, the strike's not going to give up, but, you know, that, that should be, uh, the, we got the, we got that insurance call, the padding right there. And then, um, and the ironic thing was, I was, you know, on my way to lunch, when we went up 2 0. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I get to watch the game. You know, I'm going to be at home lunch. I uh, was able to watch watch the game. I kid you not, not 10 seconds after I turned that damn game on, um, Patrick Marlowe puts it in the net. You know, and it off superb passing. I mean, that was, there was no chance Jonathan could have got to that puck. I mean, he didn't even know what, you know, he didn't even know Marlowe was there. Slav one off, got kind of there late, um, let Marlowe slip past him. And um, that cut to lead 2 1. I'm thinking, okay, well, you know, you don't know what's really going to happen because you don't want the the Sharks you know, team. It kind of entered my mind, you know, bad memories of of the 2011 uh, playoff series where the, those explosive Sharks just, you know, could come back from any deficit. And uh, I was thinking, okay, well, you know, deja vu because that, that's, there. you know, when we're up back to the 2011 series, when we're up 4-0, uh, Marlo scored on a similar goal like that to cut that lead to 4-1. to so he, he cuts the lead. The Sharks cut the lead two to one. I'm thinking, okay, well, we're more experienced, yo. That's that should be all. They're not gonna get anything past quick anymore. Two to one, we'll win. Or three, two to one. And then uh, was it? I think it was, it was Stewart or I forgot. 
I don't know who it was who tied the damn game and while I'm watching this. And I'm thinking, damn, do I jinx my team or what? We're, we're, uh, we're freaking tight. And I'll tie 2-2. And I'm thinking, oh, this is a Shark team. I did not want to, you know, this is a Shark team that I did not want to show them to show up. You know, I did not want them to, these guys, because they once they get rolling, man, like I said, that's my first, last block I said, they can score two goals in the blink of an eye. And those two goals were about close to five minutes apart, maybe a little more, more or less. Uh, tie the game at two. So I'm thinking, this is a totally different, different hockey game. Totally different hockey game. Uh, you know, they did what they had to do. First goal was passing. The second goal was, uh, you know, traffic in front of quick. Um, so now I have to go back to work, you know, two, two, and now my heart's beat, you know, pumping, can feeling feel in my chest. Um, you know, back to work and then my phone goes off, alert, look, and the sharks up three, two with about eight minutes left to play the game. And I'm thinking, shit, man. It, it does, you know, the right the momentum. It doesn't look like we're going to, you know, Niemi looks like he's on after he gives first, those first two goals. And, you know, it, it doesn't look good. I hope, you know, hopefully we can come back, but the Sharks are rolling right now. Um, you know, the one more goal for the, from the San Jose, and that's it. That's, you know, it's 1-1. One, one. Um, so I go on my break. I'm on my break. <clears throat> and my phone goes off. You know, Brownie ties it on that five on three. And I'm thinking, okay, well, we tied it. Sweet. Now it's anybody's game. Still, still, uh, you know, I'm still nervous because of the way how San Jose just exploded for three goals, you know, three straight and after goals. And then 22 seconds later, Trevor, Trevor Lewis, I believe it was Tyler Toffoli, uh, uh, with the assist and puts up four to three. But at that time, there was a huge smile on my face. I'm thinking, okay, we can hold on for this, la this last minute 20. You know, 2 0, you know, that's, that's great. Awesome. Uh, we were able to do that up 2 0. Very happy. Gonna be very happy tomorrow. And then, then Saturday, of course, game three. Gonna be nervous. I get to watch that game off. So uh, hopefully, uh, <laughs> I won't jinx that in my team. But um, um, so far, they're, uh, well, Kings are 2 0 when I watched them this postseason. So that's good. Um, but two, we're only up 2 0, guys. We, we've only we've held home ice. There's nothing to brag about. We did what we had to do. Still a lot of hockey left, so a lot of series left. Remember, we were in a similar position now. We were in a similar position last series down 0-2. We came back and won four straight. So if we don't, you know, play like we're supposed to play, it's going to be a role reversal. Um, Sharks are not going to be discouraged by this. They're mentally, you know, in my opinion, they're, they're, they're too uh, seasoned to be discouraged by this because they've been in the playoffs for so long. Um, it, I want, of course, uh, I'm going to say we need one. Uh, we need one in San Jose just uh, just because because I don't want to go back to LA tied to tied two two you know I want one we'd rather have, we'd rather have the sweep but I doubt so that's gonna happen because San Jose they're a damn tough team um, but want to jump on them let's 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 uh, put our foot to to the throat right now Saturday um, if there, if there's one team that you don't want to get rolling it's the Sharks you know there's certain teams that it's like okay well, if, once they get rolling okay, they, they could be beat you know it's it's not a big deal. Um, but the Sharks are a team you do not want to get rolling. They're a very scary team when they do. So I just keep it up. Um, <clears throat> keep doing what we're doing, you know. And and we gotta uh, we gotta get more physical with them, man. Uh, they generate too much shots. Um, you know, I mean, the, you know, they it, it it paid it paid off for them this game. You know, last game, uh, you know, they had what thirty five shots, no goals. This this I'm not sure how much shots they had this game. I believe it was 31, 32. It was in the thirties. And they had three goals, you know. So I mean, that's the, like I said, don't want that. That's happen. We need to get more um, bodies on 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 their players. Um, try to push them around. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully we'll be up three zero after Saturday. Um, at the uh, HB Pavilion, aka Shark Tank, in San Jose, six o'clock start. So until then, this is Ronark saying, "Go Kings, go!" And I'm out. See you.